Hi there. Now before I do part C and D here, just want to remind you what I did in a previous video and about the question. We were given that 19 employees of a company took an aptitude test and the scores out of 40 are illustrated in the stem and leaf diagram here. And we had to work out the median score, Q2 in other words, which was 33 and then the interquartile range. So we had the lower quartile Q1 which was 24 and the upper quartile Q3 which was 40. And by doing the upper quartile minus the lower quartile we got the interquartile range which was 16. Now for the next part of this question we're told that the company director decides that any employees whose scores are so low that they are outliers will undergo retraining. And an outlier is an observation whose value is less than the lower quartile minus 1.0 times the interquartile range. And for part C, we've got to explain why there is only one employee who will undergo retraining for two marks. And then for part D, draw a box plot to illustrate the employee's scores for three marks. So if you haven't done this and like to have a go, just give you a moment then to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, first of all, we've got to work out what the outlier would be. And to do that, let's just put down here an intro outlier, okay, boundary. And this will be a lower boundary point, okay, because what we're looking for is to go to the lower quartile minus one times the interquartile range. Well, the lower quartile we worked out as Q1, which was 24, and then we've got to do minus 1.0 times the interquartile range, which was 16. And if you work this out, what you end up with is 8. And the only value below 8 is the 7 here. So therefore we have one value and it's 7 is below. Okay, so that answers uh, part C then. Now in part D we've got to draw a box plot to illustrate the employee's scores then. So first of all what we need to do is put a scale down and we can see that we're going from lowest value of 7 to the highest value of 40. Well I'm going to put 0 here and go up in steps of 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40 and then we've got 50 here. And so this represents the score. So we put the quartiles in next and starting with the lower quartile Q1 at 24 then can see that we've got 20 here so 21 22 23 24 that's there so we just draw a line down there okay to illustrate the lower quartile the upper quartile q3 is at 40 so just put that in there okay so we've got that one and we want the median in q2 at 33 there's 30 31 32 33 there so draw a line down there and then we need to draw a box around this, okay? So this is the start then of our box plot. We next need to put in our smallest value, the 7, which is beyond the outlier here. So we mark that in with a cross. So if this is 10, then we've got 9, 8, 7. 7 will be here, and so I'm going to mark that with a cross to denote the outlier. The next lowest value is the 18. So going to mark a line then out to 18. So that's 20, so 19, 18 is going to be there. So I'm going to mark a line there denoting the lowest value other than the outlier. Okay, so that's going to go to there. Now we need to draw out to the highest value from 40. 
Well, it just turns out that 40 is in fact the upper quartile, so there's no need to draw a line out here. So there's our box plot. Obviously, you wouldn't need to have these in the colors I've got them, you just have it in the one color, but that's just there to obviously show you which of the quartiles I'm using. Okay.